Good morning, guys. So today I would like to uh, show you guys the difference on the fan about the uh, EG4 6500 versus the Crowatt inverter 5000 uh, watt inverter. So the other one, um, I'm want to d discuss about the fan that uh, it, it, it used on the Crowatt. It shut the air from the bottom and blow the air out from the top, right? See this one is have the, the top also. And the advantage of the EG4 over the uh, um, Crowatt is that the fan on this one is blowing out the bottom. Uh, the difference that they think on the uh, um, on the uh, uh, crow watt is shut the air out the air the cool air from the bottom is come out on the top right the hot air is always on the top stay on the top okay I turn off the music there uh, relaxing music and um, versus this one is shut the air from the top is blow out on the bottom in the garage this one is supposed to install in the cool environment inside anyway so inside the house is um, on the top it should be uh, 50 centimeter which is uh, half a meter right half a meter which is about one and a half feet uh, about 18 18 inches height from the ceiling down to the top of the inverter and um, we should have uh, AC in the house or the cooling fan anyway inside the house right but for the inverter, if you have, um, if you pull the air out from the top and you blow the air out on the bottom, uh, it would be better protection because this one is have the filter on the crow watt. If they can do that as well, then you can put the filter on the top. You guys can open it and flip the um, flip the uh, the fan backward. I mean, or upside down. Um, that way, smell new. Okay, so the fan like that, you can unscrew this, unscrew on the floor, and then flip it backward. It will pull the air from the top down. But then, uh, with the crow watt, you will avoid the warranties, right? I mean, uh, with the signature solar, we will, you will avoid the warranty because they have the sticker, right? So that's up to you guys. This one is half the fan on that one too. So this one three fan and this one's bigger fan. So it will be more noisy than the crow watt. Okay, guys. Just let you guys know. This one really noisy when it's run full load earlier. Um, the crow watt is have only two fan and it's the fan is smaller and it's quieter. I don't have the dB um, uh, noise sound meter to to show you guys, but on this video is you see that this one it blow the air out okay and the suck in the air in see that it suck it suck it in suck it in so if it's blow out it will fall backward but this one is suck it in okay blow it out okay blow away Okay, so that is my information and um, what that's what I like about this one uh, more than the crow watt. The crow watt standby is lower and the crow watt is will be better for you guys to charge your electric car. Um, your electric car will charge at 240 volt, right? It's faster, but this one is only 120 volt, which is will charge very slow. You have to charge overnight and you better have a big battery bank big battery bank you need to buy more battery bank on the like that or you buy a bigger battery bank like this 50 50 uh 15 kilowatt 5000 watt each is not enough to charge electric car okay unless you charge during the day while you have the solar but then during the day you guys go to work right unless you guys work at night and then uh, you can charge during the day while you sleep during the day right so, oh, I get off track again. So, but primarily this one is better because uh, it's have the filter on the top and blow out on the bottom. 
and um, on the crow watch you should reverse that so you can do that uh, suck the air from the top but then you keep in mind that you need to have a filter and uh, install the filter for the uh, for the crow watch okay so you not a small one like this but you need to make like a big housing uh, filter so then you can um, change it out uh, you don't have to change it out often or you can don't have to wash it often this one they recommend to wash it every month every 30 days or so you can take you need to take it off and wash them so the air can flow in easier otherwise the fan will have to work very hard because the, the filter restrict the airflow okay um, that's about it and uh, for the battery you need to buy a big battery and more solar cell solar panel on top maybe like 8000 watts or 10,000 watts or more solar panel to charge the car my Tesla suck a lot of power and um, I right now I have only 5000 watts but it's produced about 3800 watts of uh, power uh, only like 3.5 3.8 kilowatt average and during the time like this it's not sunny it will be only like 2.5 kilowatt which is not enough for the Tesla to uh, to charge um, so I have to buy like 10 to 16 kilowatts uh, of solar panel this one can both of this another one is coming and um, this can handle uh, 8,000 watts, up to 8,000 watts of solar panel maximum uh, each. So two of them can be 16,000 watts, right? And I buy 16,000 watts, it will give me about 14,000 watts, which is 14 kilowatt, which is, which is plenty enough. Or maybe just by 12 kilowatt would be uh, really cool. Okay, thank you very much, you guys, for viewing my video. Have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and check out the link below.